Good morning and welcome to the Lakeside Viking News. I'm Braden and it's Thursday, May 13th. Let's begin with today's brief LHS announcements. The Lakeside Viking News would like to congratulate the following seniors for receiving awards and honors. The 2021-2020 Lifelong Learner Award goes to Ellen Adby. The Faculty Award of Excellence for Math goes to Nicholas Turk and Catherine Rowland. For Social Studies, Tyler Bokelman. For Science, Catherine Flatch. And for English, Aaron Lee. The AJC Cup goes to Leah Weiss. Jenny Chan is the recipient of the Joseph P. Reed Alumni Scholarship. Christian Lee is the recipient of the James Jimmy Mack McMahon Scholarship. The Youth Achievement Leadership Award goes to Jordan Lin. The Math, Science, and English departments would also like to recognize their top students. The top math students are Luis Serrano for 9th grade, Stephen Reed for 10th grade, and Elizabeth Blass and Jason Yip for 11th grade. The top science students are Ashlyn Whitfield for 9th grade, Leah James Ricks for 10th, and Elizabeth Max Blass for 11th. The top social studies students are Brittany Cabrera Sanchez for 9th grade, Jay Janney for 10th grade, and Maggie Bell for 11th grade. Congratulations, students! Lakeside's FBLA club is partnering with March for Babies, a fundraiser that puts money towards taking care of new mothers and their newborn babies to make sure that they are both healthy. It would be greatly appreciated if you could donate with this link. Just click donate and then type the amount you want to donate in that box that says other. Any amount is appreciated. The deadline is June. The CAV Virtual Career Academy will provide 750 internships open to the CAV residents ages 14 to 24, who will be paid $9 per hour. Applications open at 9 a.m. on May 5th, 2021, and close at 5 p.m. on May 11th, 2021. Apply at this link. There is a yearbook sales contest. Whichever fourth period class purchases the most yearbooks between the 10th and 14th of May will receive a pizza party. If you already bought one, that counts too. You can purchase the yearbooks at the LHS website, through the web store, or bring cash to Ms. Town's room 1404. For students, the cost is $70, and for staff, it's $60. This is the last chance to purchase a yearbook. Attention, the 2020-2021 season of the Lakeside Viking News will be ending tomorrow, May 14th. Get your final announcements in before then. And now, to Ethan with the news. Hello Lakeside, Ethan here. Unfortunately, this will be the last time I will be joining you to bring you my cynical version of the news. U.S. regulators authorized Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine for use in children as young as 12 and said that they could begin receiving shots as soon as today, widening the country's inoculation program. This is the first COVID-19 vaccine to be authorized in the United States for ages 12 to 15. Vaccinating younger ages is considered an important step for getting children back into schools. President Biden has asked states to make the vaccine available to younger adolescents immediately. The vaccine has been available under an emergency use authorization to people as young as 16 in the United States. The suspect in March's Atlanta area spa shooting was indicted Tuesday on murder and domestic terrorist charges, with prosecutors planning to seek the death penalty and enhanced hate crime charges. A separate grand jury in Cherokee County has yet to decide on charges against a suspect in the shooting. The hate crime charges would be based on alleged crimes committed against the victims due to their actual or perceived race, national origin, sex, and gender. It is the first time Georgia's hate crime statute, which was passed in 2020, will be used. A deadly exchange of fire between Palestinian militants in the Gaza Strip and Israeli military has escalated significantly, with the, in with the UN fearing a full-scale war. More than 1,000 rockets have now been fired by Palestinian militants over 38 hours, mostly at Tel Aviv. Israel has carried out hundreds of airstrikes, destroying two tower blocks in Gaza on Tuesday and Wednesday. At least 43 Palestinians and 6 Israelis have been killed since Monday, including 13 Palestinian children. Israel said it was targeting rocket launch sites, high-rise buildings, homes, and offices used by Hamas, the militant group that rules Gaza. Residents had been warned to evacuate the buildings before the fighter jets attacked. However, officials said there were still civilian deaths. And now to the penultimate episode of the Lakeside Viking News.
skip! Yo, that was awesome. Do you know the power that holds? What are you doing with it open? Skip, you crossed the line. You can't just have both of the things I love, Lucas! What the heck, man? What are you doing? This is my umbrella. It has my name carved right here. I got it from the umbrella shop. Looks like, Lucas, I've got you in a bit of a check. You're gonna have to choose, buddy, between your precious umbrella and your girlfriend. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, stinky? Where'd he go? He couldn't have gone far. I don't see him. <laughs> it's finally mine! Oh. Come on, Brayden. Yo, come on, man. Get Mickey D's. Come on. Uh, let's. You, you want to go? I, I, my car. I, you, you brought your car, right? <laughs> That's it for today's Lakeside Viking News. Have a great Thursday.